Prime Minister Narendra Modi on a three-day visit to Gujarat laid the foundation stone of multiple development project at Banas Dairy Sankul in Banas Kanta. He also inaugurated state-of-the-art dairy complex at Banas Dairy Sankul. Ahead of the upcoming festivals, including Eid and Akshat Ritya, the Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath issued a directive saying that while microphones can be used in religious programs, the sound should not be heard outside the premises and not cause inconvenience to others. Regional Director of World Health Organization Southeast Asia Region, Poonam Khetrapal Singh, extended her gratitude to Government of India for hosting WHO Global Centre for Traditional Medicine in Jamnagar, Gujarat. She said that Jamnagar will be a hub of excellence that will promote the use of effective and evidence-based traditional medicine. Kristalina Georgieva, International Monetary Fund Managing Director, appreciated India's help to Sri Lanka in tackling its economic crisis while assuring Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman that the financial institution would continue to actively engage with the island nation. Jabalpur police arrested a youth for making objectionable remarks against PM Modi and Home Minister Amit Shah. Three explosions rocked a high school in Western Kabul, killing six and injuring 11 people. Many residents in the neighborhood belong to Shia Hazar community, an ethnic and religious minority frequently targeted by Sunni militant groups, including Islamic State. Russia called on Ukrainian forces to immediately lay down arms and issued a new ultimatum for the defenders of the besieged port city of Mariupol to give up their resistance. The Russian Defense Ministry's warning came after Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced late the start of a new offensive by Moscow focused on the east of the former Soviet state. Following Imran Khan's ouster, Pakistan Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif's 34-member cabinet was sworn in. In the first phase of the induction, a list of 31 federal ministers, three ministers of state and three advisers to the Prime Minister was issued. Pakistan People's Party chief Bilawal Bhutto was not included in the list. The Yes Nara has performed well in India as well as overseas, taking its overall worldwide gross to a whopping 625 crores. The film has already entered the list of the top 10 highest crossing Indian films. After SS Rajamouli's RRR, it is the second film in this year to breach the list. Top spotter for grabs and clash of high flying Lucknow Super Giants and Royal Challengers Bangalore. Royal Challengers Bangalore and Lucknow Super Giants have four wins each from six games so far this season, with only net run rate separating them on the points table.